Good morning, children. Welcome again to another class of English grammar. Today, children, we are going to discuss the preposition chapter. So, first of all, let us have a look at the examples that I have written on the blackboard. The first one is Raju sat on the bench. In this sentence, children, we are talking about Raju and we know that he sat, but he sat on the bench. So, on is the preposition in this sentence that tells us the position of Raju on the bench. Now, let us have a look at the next one. The dog ran across the road. In this sentence, children, we know or we are talking about the dog and we also know that the dog ran. But what is the movement of the dog? The movement of the dog is across. So, he ran across the road. So, across is the uh, preposition that tells us about the movement of the dog. Now, the next sentence we have, our classes begin at 9 a.m. So, here we are talking about our classes. So, when do they begin? They begin at 9 a.m. So, this at, the word at is a preposition that tells us about the time that our classes will begin. So, what are the different prepositions that we read about? We read about on, across and at. So now, what do you understand by the word preposition? So, if I divide the word preposition into two parts, pre means before and position is the place. So, what does a preposition tell us? A preposition is a word that shows us the relationship like a place, a time or any kind of movement between a noun or a pronoun and other parts of a word in a sentence. So now children, let us discuss the different kinds of prepositions. So when we know that we spoke about the movement, the time or the place that shows us the relationship between the noun or pronoun in a sentence and the other parts of the words in a sentence are known as prepositions. So, we are going to learn about the different parts or different kinds of prepositions. So, before we start, let us understand that we will be discussing the three kinds of prepositions. That means preposition of time, preposition of place and preposition of movement. So, what is preposition of place? Prepositions or words that tell us about the position of things are called prepositions of place. So, let us have a look at the examples that I have. The watch is on the bed. In this sentence, we are talking about the watch and we have another word that is bed. So, once again, in the beginning I have told you that preposition means pre means before and position means place. So, what is the place? The place of the watch. Where is it kept? It is kept on the bed. So, again I have told you that the word on is, prepos is the preposition of place because it tells us about the watch and where it is kept. Whether it is kept on the bed, under the bed, behind the bed. Now, let us have a look at the next sentence. The baby is in the pot. Now, in this sentence, we want to know about the baby and where the baby is. So, we want to know that the baby, the, we are talking about the pot and the baby. So, what is the relation between these two? That the baby is in the pot. Okay. So, in becomes the preposition of place. Likewise, we have my coat is behind the door. So, once again, we want to know the relation between the coat and the door. So, what is the relation between both these nouns? Behind. The word behind tells us about the place where the coat has been kept. So, behind is the verb in this, I'm sorry, is the preposition in this sentence. Now, children, let us understand what do we understand by preposition of time. Prepositions that tell us when something happened is known as preposition of time. Now, for example, the party is on Sunday. Again, we are talking about two things. We are talking about a date.
day, that is Sunday, and we are talking about the party. So what is the relation between these two words? This tells us when the party is going to be. So the party is going to be on Sunday. So on becomes the preposition of time. Next we have he will be home by 5 o'clock. Once again we have a specific time over here that is 5 o'clock. And who is going to be home? We. So we is the pronoun that is used over here. So what is the relation between both? We get to know when we are going to be home. So by becomes the preposition and it is the preposition of time that tells us when we will be home. Next we have I have not seen her since March. So I is the pronoun over here and March is the specific month since when we have not seen her. Now children, the word used to tell us about the time is since. So since describes us, describes or tells us since when we have not seen her. Now children, let us come to the third kind of preposition. That is preposition of movement. By the word movement, you have understood to move. So how do we move? We move across, we move up, we move down. So there are different words that describe the movement. So prepositions that are used to show the movement to or from. That means to go somewhere or to come back from somewhere are known from a place are called prepositions of movement. So what are the examples that I have to do here? He ran up the stairs. So he ran. We come to know we are talking about a pronoun over here that is he. We know the verb ran. But we also know that we are talking about the stairs. So how did he run? Whether he came down the stairs or he ran up the stairs. In this sentence we know we are talking about he and he ran up the stairs. So up becomes the preposition of movement. The rocks rolled, across, rolled down the hill. So in the sentence we are talking about the rocks and we know the verb that is rolled. And we are also talking about the hill. So how did the rocks roll? The rocks rolled down the hill. So in this sentence down is the preposition of movement. So children we have understood that we learnt about three different kinds of preposition here that was preposition of time, place and movement. So children if you notice I have drawn something on the board showing you how to find out the difference or how to use in, on, at, in, time and place. So let us start by using the word or the preposition in. In is used in the general form of time when we talk about centuries, decades, years, months or weeks. For example, let's meet in April. So I am talking about meeting in a certain month, in a general month, not any specific date or anything of that sort. So what would I do? I will use in. But when I use in for the preposition of place, I use it talking about a general country or a general city or a general neighborhood. For example, I live in Patna. This is a very general information that I have given you. But when we talk about the preposition non, on, while using it for the time or for the place, we use it slightly specific, a little bit more specific or a little bit more clear. So when I talk about on for preposition of time, I use it to talk about certain days or the weekends. Okay? But when I use on for preposition of place, I use it a little bit more specific or a little clearly to mention the street or the avenue. For example, I live on Main Street. In the previous one, I have told you about in that we give very general information by talking about the place. But when using on for the place, what do I do? I slightly give you some more information. Now children, when we use at for the preposition of time and place, we are very specific. That means we are very very clear with what we want to say. So when we talk about the preposition of time, 
using and we talk about the different hours of the day or we are like very clear as I told you we are very very clear about it. So for example, let's meet at 2 o'clock. So in this sentence, I have been very specific as to when I want to meet you and the time for me to meet you is at 2 o'clock. But when I talk about the preposition of place and when I have to use the preposition at, I give a specific, a very very specific address or a specific location. For example, I live at 32 Main Street. If I had to write, I live in Main Street, it would not be very specific. But since I have given you the number here, my address is more clear to you. So I hope children, you have understood how we will be using in, on, at while using them both for the preposition of time and the preposition of place. Thank you.